get ready for Hot Wheels' greatest drivers, Hot Wheels' coolest cars, and the epic adventure, the Hot Wheels World Race. Hot Wheels Road Race was only a part of a massive transmedia effort by Mattel in collaboration with Starlight Runner Entertainment. Titled Highway 35, this effort would employ a recently developed technique pioneered by Starlight Runner called transmedia storytelling. This technique is the method of telling a single story or story experience across multiple platforms and formats using current digital technologies. Not to be confused with traditional cross-platform media franchises, sequels, or adaptations, but usually working together with these other mediums. Essentially, it's creating a large story world in which stories from multiple perspectives can be written. In Highway 35's case, this was achieved by the aforementioned feature-length film cut up into five episodes, comic books, collectible diecast cars, and an accompanying video game. Hot Wheels Accelerators was also a part of a massive transmedia effort known as Drive to Survive 2005. Spearheaded by Mattel, who at this time Rainmaker Entertainment, Accelerators saw the same transmedia treatment with four movies, a collectible card game, diecast cars, and an online website. Unlike World Race, however, it did not receive an accompanying video game. This is pondering, because narratively, the show works perfectly as a video game. The show has power-ups in the form of Excel chargers, racing realms that encourage certain driving techniques, and cars with their own individual stats. Acceleracers just seems built from the ground up to have a tie-in video game. I want to discuss as to why an Acceleracers game never saw the light of day, and a couple theories I have about a particular video game, Hot Wheels Ultimate Racing, the closest thing we have to an Acceleracers game. I welcome you all to the supposed Acceleracers video game. I hope you all enjoy. Hot Wheels Ultimate Racing was a PSP game developed by Raylight Games back in 2007, only one year after the Acceleracers brand had been discontinued. Despite this, the game features vehicles and set pieces that were also featured in Acceleracers. I learned about Ultimate Racing's existence and its ties to AR in a documentary by the Acceleracers community figurehead, Das Mattel. In said documentary, he mentions that Ultimate Racing features quote, landscapes and creatures directly inspired from the racing realms. It was then I decided to purchase and play the game myself, with the hope of finding and documenting all it had in common with Acceleracers. That is what led to the creation of this video. This is not going to be a review of Ultimate Racing, more so just a showcase of what the game has in common with AR. However, if certain opinions on the game's quality come up, then so be it. With that being said, I can now move on to discussing the game itself and the courses within. Upon booting up the game, we are treated to an extremely generic title screen. As you can see, there are four main modes of play, those being Ultimate Challenge, Arcade, Multiplayer, which I'm going to assume no one has ever played, and Options. Today's topic concerns what resides in Challenge and Arcade mode. Ultimate Challenge is essentially the game's single player campaign. There are six stages of it, with the first notably being called Ignition, and the last being called Ultimate Challenge. That's it for Challenge mode, onto Arcade mode. If Quick Race is selected, all the courses within the game can be accessed, assuming the game has been beaten, which I have. Before that, however, the player must choose their choice of car. You begin with seven vehicles, the rest being unlocked through various means such as completing the single player mode, or completing certain stages on various difficulty levels. There are 26 vehicles total in the game, and one of them just happens to be Noah's spec type, recolored and renamed High Voltage for some reason, another car Noah drove. The game also happens to feature more cars designed by famous Hot Wheels designer Nathan Croach, the man who designed fan favorite world race and accelerations cars such as the Dora 2 and Synchro. After this, the courses finally come into play. This is where most of the notable similarities between Ultimate Racing and Accelerator start to occur. Going to the course menu, we see that the game has four different courses, or cups. Volcano, Jungle, Death Valley, and Metropolis. Excellent names, by the way. I think these thumbnails actually look great, as they resemble the art of the Accelerator's card game. Without further ado, let's check out the Volcano Cup. What a boring ass name. This is the least interesting of the courses, which is why I'm covering it first, as it doesn't seem to hold many references to accelerators, if at all. Although, the Volcano Cup does seem to hold some resemblance to the first leg of the world race, as well as the Lava Realm. It is a generic volcano after all. This is where the similarities seem to end, unfortunately, as there seems to be no notable landmarks from the series here. Something noteworthy about this cup is that it only has two courses as opposed to the usual three the other cups have. On to the Jungle Cup which art resembles that of the Monument Realm from the card game. This course has three courses to delve into, so let's jump right into Jungle 01. Let the race begin. To my surprise, the controls aren't actually that bad. You accelerate with the X button, hit the Nitrox with the square button, and brake with the circle button. A bullet time like slow mode can be activated by the press of the L button, and you can drift while holding the R button. As we make it through Jungle 01, we come up to a pipeline resembling that of the one found in the Water Realm. 
skeletal anglerfish can be seen swimming alongside the pipeline, and it functions just as it did in the show, attacking you if you aren't driving fast enough through it. It also has bugs flying around, like the gasoline sucking mosquitoes from the Swamp Realm. That's it for Jungle 01. Jungle 02 has nothing new to make note of, but Jungle 03 just so happens to include the Swamp Monster from the Swamp Realm and the Greatest Challenge from the second leg of the World Race. Moving on to the next cup, Death Valley. Death Valley seems to pay homage to the third leg of the World Race, and the Ruins Realm. The snake featured in the thumbnail looks exactly like the one featured in Ignition, but that could just be a coincidence. It can even be seen in Desert 01, modeled and everything. Moving on to Desert 02, the dinosaur statue from the desert leg of the world race can be seen. You even lead through the mouth, just like Rekka's and Chuvo did. It may be tame, but still got some teeth. Finally, on to Metropolis. With a name like Metropolis, you'd expect it to resemble the Metro Realm, but you'd be mistaken. If anything, Metro 01 and 02 seem to resemble the Junk Realm. Metropolis 01 has a claw that resembles the magnet that picked up Vert in the Junk Realm. It even drops things into a dumpster, just like the magnet did. I didn't come back to end up here! Metro 02 has trucks resembling those found in the Metro Realm, and Metro 03 seems to drop the Junk Realm aesthetic for a more traditional city scope, even having a gorilla resembling King Kong of all things. Something like this would have been interesting to see in Acceleracers, as a large, primate-like creature can be seen in the Acceleracers card game. After noticing all these similarities, I began to come up with some theories about the origins of Hot Wheels Ultimate Racing. My first theory is that, at one point in development, Ultimate Racing was intended to be an Acceleracers video game. I presume that, because of Acceleracers' recent termination and lack of relevancy at the time, it was decided to repurpose the video game into a standalone title. The second theory is that Ultimate Racing was never meant to be an Acceleracers video game, and the developers simply used Acceleracers as inspiration. The final theory is that there simply was never an Acceleracers video game in production, and I'm simply looking into things too deeply. After this, I decided to contact the developers myself, and see if I could get some insight. To my surprise, Raylight Games is still developing games to this day. I looked around for some contact info, but I couldn't find any anywhere. These men really are off the grid. Eventually, I found one of the members' emails. I decided to start writing up something, trying to sound as professional as I could. I mentioned how Ultimate Racing seems to share a lot in common with Acceleracers, yet it doesn't hold the Acceleracers moniker. After a while, a developer actually responded, super casually too, as it was all lowercase. I proceeded to write up more questions, to which I got a response from what seems to be another developer. According to this developer, the game had a pretty rough development cycle. Their budget was cut by $100,000 USD sometimes during development, and to make things worse, Sony rejected the first demo they submitted, forcing them to delay the game and work on it even further. They continued to say that Mattel had almost no involvement with the game, not even sending the team any available assets or concept art. Because of this, the team bought a couple of quote Hot Wheels movies to use as inspiration to help flesh out the game some more. They then proceeded to confirm that the fish seen in Jungle 01 is the skeletal anglerfish that can be seen in the water realm. They then proceed to ask me why I'm taking such a big interest in their older titles, to which I respond with telling them how I learned about the game, and the theories I had surrounding it. I asked one more question, and unfortunately, haven't received the response as of the making of this video. In short, Hot Wheels Ultimate Racing is the closest thing we have to an Acceleracers video game, and surprisingly, I'm okay with that. Most of the Hot Wheels video games are subpar anyways, so the Acceleracers video game that would have been released would not have been of the highest quality. Although, it is about the principle. If World Race got a video game, then Acceleracers damn sure deserves one too. I would like to thank the developers for both responding to my emails and keeping the dream of an Acceleracers video game alive. If you were to create your own Acceleracers game, what would it look like? Make sure to tell me down below in the comments. I encourage you all to play Ultimate Racing for yourselves and look for more allusions to Acceleracers. I try to be thorough, but I wouldn't be surprised if I had missed a few things. I'm Nolo, and this has been the conclusion of Nolo as Fuck Season 2. Thank you for watching.